hey guys welcome to nox kissing my name is kadi and in this video guys i want to show you how to prepare cabbage sauce so i'm going to share with you the ingredients you need the procedures and the steps to prepare this i'm also going to share with you tips on how to eat this cabbage sauce and what to eat it with okay so if that's why here i hear you're welcome so let's jump right into the video guys hi guys welcome to my food channel nox kissing my name is kari the channel is about cooking kitchen etiquette and equipment guys so guys let's look at the ingredients and the spices that we need so these are all the ingredients the spices and i'm going to share with you one by one what they are okay so first of all we have our cabbage which is very very important it is the main ingredient for our meal okay so i'm going to be using a small sized cabbage as you can see and um, look at how small it is <laughs> so the next vegetable we're going to be using is this our uh, green pepper and um, red pepper bell pepper or any red pepper you have it's just for the color and for the spice and then we have our carrots okay and then we have our chicken so if you have shredded chicken that's fine but i'm using chicken wings and a bit of lap and then this is our blended pepper okay and then this is our meat stock meat water chicken water to be precise and then that is onions that we're going to slice and this is our thyme okay you can see thyme this is the thyme spice we'll be using and then we're also going to use curry spice and then this is our salt um yeah um this is um paprika and then this is um garlic okay so these are all the spices that we'll be using also we'll be using chicken cubes okay so let's go right into the process so we need to cut our vegetables and we're going to first start with cutting our cabbage so when you are cutting your cabbage it's important to take off the head of the cabbage and then you go ahead to slice it the way you want if you have a shredder that's fine you can go ahead to shred it but i'm using my knife and i'm going to go ahead to slice it so while we're slicing this let me just quickly tell you that on my channel we have different videos on how to make different type of stews and soups and sauces okay so we have one more sauce we have chicken stew we have fish stew we have grid fuel stew to mention a few so make sure you check it out okay so while our guys were done with the first half and we're just going to quickly cut the second part okay now that we're done you know slicing the um, cabbage we're just going to go ahead to put it in a bowl and keep it in one side so we want our cabbage to be fresh so you can go ahead to add water in it okay so the next vegetable we'll be slicing is our onions so this is the onions we'll be using i'll we'll just go ahead to quickly slice it okay and then keep it in the bowl and put it one side while we continue slicing all the other vegetables so guys the next vegetables we're doing is our green pepper so we're just going to quickly slice the green pepper we we'll slice the carrot and then we slice the pepper okay i already have on my channel how to slice your um carrot how to julienne your carrot how to cut your carrot different ways to cut your carrot to mention a few okay so make sure you check it out okay so let's put our sliced carrot in one side i'm going to slice our pepper so when you're slicing this you need to take out the seed so some people like their seed in it but i really don't like the seed so you can see i'll first go ahead to slice it and after slicing it i'll now go ahead to rinse it and take out the seed as you can see me do here okay so guys the pepper is our last vegetables and yeah we are done with all the vegetables that we need to make our cabbage sauce so the next step is to shred our chicken so if you already have like shredded chicken you don't need to go through this process but um i don't have a shredded chicken so i'm going to go ahead to shred this chicken into tiny bits okay so guys this is just how to shred the chicken basically we just want to slice through it you know and get the bones out of it okay we're still going to use the bone for this cabbage sauce so but then i just want to get out all the meat from it i have a video on my channel how to make chicken stew how to boil your, your chicken to mention a few so now that we are done with shredding our chicken we're now going to go to the next step which is to heat the pan on fire and add the little oil that we want to use to stir fry our vegetables okay 
so i'm just going to make sure it goes round and then it's hot and once it's hot a little we're going to go ahead to add our sliced onions okay we're going to stir it because we don't want it to get burnt okay so when it's a bit golden brown or fried to a large extent we're going to add our shredded chicken okay so this is our shredded chicken we're going to stir it to it for it to fry a little and then after doing this we're now going to go ahead to add the different vegetables so we allow this to sit for a minute before stirring and yeah after it has stirred on the fire for about a minute we are now going to go ahead to add our vegetables so this is our sliced green pepper we add it first and our sliced carrot and our sliced pepper okay so we're going to go ahead to stir this okay so the next step after adding our vegetables is to add our spices remember i showed you the spices we're using we're going to be using thyme it's just a little bit of thyme I don't really like spices but then this is just what we're adding and then we add our curry okay so after adding our curry we're going to then go ahead to add our blended pepper okay so we add this to have spice so based on your spice level you should be able to decide so if you don't really like take a lot of spice like pepper you can reduce the amount of pepper you put in so now that we have added this we're just going to go ahead to stir the mixture so that the the vegetables can mix with the blended ingredients so now we're going to add salt okay which is very important and then after salt we're going to go ahead to add the next spice which is garlic okay so guys we're just going to use like a small spoon to add the garlic after adding the garlic we're now going to add our paprika okay just like the size we used for the garlic a little had turned in inside so i'm just going to put a little of it so now that we have added that we're going to go ahead to stir the reason why we're stirring is so that it can properly mix all the spices can mix with the vegetables and then after we have properly stirred this we're now going to go ahead to add our cabbage okay so remember that we sliced our cabbage and then we put it in a bowl inside water so we just drain out the cabbage and then after draining out the cabbage we're going to go ahead to add the cabbage into our um, vegetable mixture so you go ahead to add your meat water your chicken stock or whatever you have and then we're going to add very little water okay and we're going to cover for three minutes after covering for three minutes we go ahead to open our pot as you can see me do and then go ahead to stir it so while stirring it you can check um, the texture of your cabbage if it is crunchy or if it is soft we don't want our cabbage to be too soft okay anyways we're just going to go ahead to stir it and then after stirring it and it's properly mixed we are then going to cover it for another one minute okay and then after covering this for one minute we are then going to open it up and add our final spice which is our chicken cube or just seasoning cubes anyone is fine so me i'm using the chicken cubes seasoning okay and voila guys the final stirring which is to make sure the cubes you know mix up with our um cabbage and just boil for about 30 seconds and voila it is ready guys so let's go ahead to dish it so now you're wondering how to eat this and if you can eat it with anything so this is just like a normal sauce you can eat it with anything and because of i like spice the spicy level is a bit high and guys it's very very delicious so um you can eat it by itself i can eat the cabbage sauce on its own because it's healthy it is crunchy it is delicious to mention a few another way to you know eat this is like every other food you can eat it with rice you can eat it with yam you can eat it with potatoes you can eat it with plantain to mention a few okay um if you try out this recipe let me know how it turns out in the comment section thank you for watching this video remember to like to share to subscribe to the notification button and i'll see amazing people in my next video bye guys